Hey, hello everyone and welcome back once again to Let's Play Fallout. Yes, we're here as our hero to be, I'm sure, Dr. Bob Atomic arrived at his first slice of Wasteland Civilization. Yep, we're here at Shady Sands. Now, you can't see it, but as I ended the last session, we did get a little bit of a blurb about the town, and the town, uh, the blurb said it looked like a peaceful settlement, so that's certainly a good sign for old Bob. Imagine if the first settlement he came across, it was full of, I don't know, axe-wielding, gun-toting cannibals. <laughs> Be a very short-lived expedition to Vault 15, wouldn't it? Anyway, thankfully it's not, and we're here in Shady Sands. So, uh, without further ado, we'll crack on, because, hey, time is of the essence, you know. But, uh, yeah, it certainly brings home uh, the restrictiveness of 10-minute videos uh, doing this session. <laughs> it really is. I don't know how I coped. But, uh, I think the general gist is you, you, you record a 30-minute video, or a 40-minute session, rather, uh, and you just chop it into 10 bits, It's or chop it into 10-minute bits, uh, it's probably the best way to do it, but anyway. I've always got one eye on the clock. Because when I first died, I used to have a stopwatch, you see. Whereas I don't need one now, because I've got OBS telling me exactly what's going on. So, anyway. We've got two people. This guy seems to be a guard of some such. He's got a, a guard dog, perhaps, here. And he's also got a... Uh, uh, yeah, you go. There's Seth. Leader of the guards of Shady Sands. I don't know how we would know that, but... Uh, and this is, of course... Uh, a lady by his side, beaming with a pretty smile. We'll probably approach the beaming, smiling lady first. Okay, so uh, very briefly, because okay, again, time is of the essence here. Uh, <coughs> Fallout was the very first game. Uh, and as I say, I didn't play it the first time I'd ever seen it. I watched it, somebody playing it and, you know, I used to quite enjoy watching my mates play games rather than playing them myself when I was a little bit younger. Um, but, um, yeah, Fallout was my first experience of playing a game that had this kind of typical RPG style branching conversation where the characters are talking to you and you have several options to pick. It was the very first time I'd ever come across this kind of thing before. And I can remember being absolutely amazed by it. It was so exciting. Like I could pick four or five different options and I could be this way or I can be that way or, you know, it was absolutely fascinating. I'm bearing in mind that when this game came out, I think it was 1997, I was only 14 years old, of course. Uh, <laughs> showing my age a bit now, of course. Anyway, welcome to Shady Sands, Traveller, says uh, Katrina. Uh, my job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Okay, uh, now our character... Obviously likes to ask a question or two, likes to be in possession of the full facts of everything. Uh, please help me. I'm looking for a water chip. Thanks, maybe later. Of course, well, she wants to talk, so we'll, I suppose, give her a chance to talk. Just, uh, make, you know, it's a bit out of context. He should probably just listen to what she has to say. But, uh, you know, this is his first encounter with somebody outside. Bob, uh, maybe going a bit over the top. Oh, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, the words tumbling out in excitement. Oh, my life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism. And many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault. But then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Ah, well, help is what we need. So, uh... Yeah, the first thing that in piqued our interest, she has lived in a vault too. We have just come, I mean, she would, I know, no doubt, recognise the vault suit, but uh, asking where this vault was, with great interest. It was Vault 15. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> it is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Now, that's not a good sign. The vault sounds like it has... 
been taken over by raiders, been attacked by raiders. There's probably raiders between here and the vault uh, as a best case scenario. As I say, worst case, the vault has been already overrun, overtaken. Um, okay. Right. Okay, so tell, asking a bit more information about uh, this place. Uh, <clears throat> you are standing in Shady Sands. We are but a small town in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides, some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert, only the raiders give us trouble. Aradesh is our leader. He is in the large central house. Speak to him. Okay, so Aradesh is the leader. Other than some mutated animals and other creatures. Oh dear. Right, that doesn't sound good. Okay. So, yeah, she's mentioned that uh, they're about a small town in a large world. Tell us about this large world. Bob's eyes wide with excitement. Who wants to, wants to know more? Oh, I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me. And I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He is recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He is more widely travelled than I. All right. So we've got the leader, Aradesh, and we've got now Ian, who is a merchant guard who might know a bit more about the big wide world. So both of those we are certainly interested uh, in speaking to. Um... What shall I do if I get hurt? So I suppose he's more in, in, in inquiring if there is any kind of a medic uh, around here. Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you will need to heal yourself. Stim packs are a common healing item. We have some, of course. And we know about uh, stim packs as well. So uh, we know about first aid and we know about doctor skill. You know, we are Dr. Bob after all. Uh... Not of the PhD variety. Uh, where can I get some better equipment? Of course, we are lacking uh, armor, for example. You will have to do like we do. Scavenge it or trade for it. And if you are attacked, your foes might provide equipment, if you live long enough to loot them. We are a peaceful community, so mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. Okay. Uh, tell me more about bartering. How does bartering work up here? We've never bartered in our entire life. Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items and I give you items in tr uh, trade. Since you initiated the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I will like. So you will probably want to give me a more valuable, uh, more valuable goods that you don't need in exchange for less expensive things that you want. And if you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so you can trade them anywhere. Oh, all this information. Caps, trade, barter. Oh, Bob's mind is awash with all these fascinating revelations. That's all for now. Right, okay, so you can see here... We've got 250 experience from the knowledge that we have gained from Katrina, which is pretty cool there. So we like that. That's good. So tell me about, you can actually type stuff in here. Okay. Let's just try this out. Vault 15. Sorry, no clue. Oh, interesting. Very specific. Um, if anybody's ever got that to work, let me know. It seems, yeah, it seems quite a, an interesting system. You could type something in, and it might might tell you about it if they know about it. Okay, what about raiders? Something that like a kind of generic. Never heard of it. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be using that that often. Uh, right, and then of course barter. The bartering for the ooh. I kind of feel like. Bob would want to get his hands on some caps to start with. We've got forced impacts. I mean, healing is probably very, very, very uh, useful. Uh, but we have healing ability at the moment. Uh, we have a spare knife. Now, 
I just want to put the one knife on there. We don't need two, unless we lose it, drop it or break it, but I'm sure we're fine with one. And again, with flares, maybe see what it's worth for one flare. I'm assuming they're just having a bit of a natter. Oh, that's worth this mini cat and blah de blah. Um, how much for one stim pack? 111. Bloody hell, forget that. Right, uh, we want all the caps here. There we go. So she's getting a little bit more of a, a weighted deal on her side. But yeah, Bob is, is certainly interested in getting his grubby mitts on some caps. So here we go. Let's see if we can... Uh, Good trade. Excellent. So Bob has found his first set of bottle caps and uh, back to talk. And how do we get out of this? How do we get out? I'll solve it now. There you go. <laughs> how do we get out? Right. Okay. So this session might be a bit longer than the 10 minutes, but uh, hey-ho. So uh, yeah, Bob has spoken with Katrina. We found out a little bit more about Vault 15. We've uh, done some bartering for the first time in our life and we have got our hands on bottle caps. So now Bob just stood at the gate looking rather foolish, uh, wide-eyed, big beaming smile, running these bottle caps through his hands like it's the most valuable and fa uh, an amazing thing that he's ever seen in his entire life. So uh, I'll leave you on that uh, thought. And in the next session, we crack on with some further explanation of uh, exploration, rather, of shady sands. <laughs>